Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button, leave a like down below. In today's video, I'm going to give you some helpful tips to get you started in universe mode if it's if you're new to the game and new to the franchise of wrestling games. Uh, universe mode, it, there's a ton of options you can do in this mode. It's my favorite mode. So I just wanted to go around and show you like how to like how to make your own show, how to add and remove superstars, how to change championships, uh, all that all that stuff. So to get started, I'll show you how to add superstars to whatever show you want. So let's start with, I guess, SmackDown. And I'll bring up this menu here. So if you want to add or remove wrestlers from a certain show, you just go down to Participants. And if, let's say you want wrestlers that are like legends on a show or switch characters from each brand, this is how you would do that. So you could pick, let's say I want to add Andre the Giant and Batista to SmackDown, right? So you pick those two wrestlers and you hit save and it'll add them to the roster. And then you can change the number of matches you want for the show. So let's say you're trying to do a YouTube channel like me. I have it down to six because a nine match show would take, would take uh, oh, quite, a, quite a while, quite a while. <laughs> um, so I do, oh, yeah, I do about six. And this is really cool, the match table. We'll go into that in a minute here. Um, and then after you add your stars, make sure you add them to whatever championship you want them to be going for. Otherwise, they won't be able to get the title. So let's say we both want them to be for the universal title, right? So you go down here, and at the very bottom it says Edit Division. So you hit that button. And you'll see little circles. Those are the people that are in this division. It'll have a little picture of the title of the division they're in. And they can't be in multiple because for some reason the game can't handle that. And it looks like it automatically added them because, well, let's face it, they're champion contenders, right? But let's, because when I first got this, Sammy was in the Intercontinental division. So I added him to the Universal division. Anyway, so that's how you do that. And then make sure you hit accept. And they will be in there from now on. And I added Cody to this because he was on the other show. So there you go. So Cody's on both shows. And you can't have wrestlers on multiple shows. You just can't have them be in multiple slots unless it's a different show. So let's say you add those same two wrestlers. Make sure you save all your stuff here. You have the same two wrestlers to Raw. They can also be in this division. See how Andre's on there? It also puts them in that division as well. So they can be on both shows in both divisions, and you can be champions on both shows if you wanted to be if you wanted to do that little that way. Like Roman has to be on both shows, even though he only shows up once every few months, which kind of makes it more special. So not complaining, just saying. Um, so yeah, if you want to be the ultimate champion on every brand, even I don't know if you could do it for three shows. Let's let's find out. Let's find out here. I don't know if you can be on all three shows or not. Because that'd be really cool if you could be Andre and Batista. They could be on all three shows in all three divisions. Yep, looks like you can. That's pretty cool. So he could win all three belts. <laughs> Too bad there's not a triple belt entrance. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, so if you wanted to be the champion on every brand... Your, your main character, you could do that. So anyway, that's how you add uh, wrestlers and add them to the divisions you want to go for whatever belts you want. Now, let's let's start our own show. All right, so my recommendation for starting your own show would not to be to do it on Sunday or Saturday because occasionally there's a pay-per-view on Saturday. At least I believe so. Or is it always Sunday in this game? It looks like it's always Sunday. Okay, cool. So I guess you can do one on Saturday. But I, you know, I was thinking of WrestleMania. So I picked Wednesday. And that's my show that I'm working on for for a series on the channel. The I unlocked the live function on the PS5. So I can stream live now to um, YouTube. So I can stream the shows now. That'll be fun. I'll probably pre-record them though because I want to... Um, add music, entrance music to each wrestler. Otherwise, it's kind of like, eh. 
There'll be dead silence every time they come to the ring. And I don't want to sit there and have a thing on the side to try to do it automatically or, you know, manually. <laughs> anyway, so we'll start with just a blank slot. First, you, what you want to do is go over to Edit Shows. Go down to an empty slot. You can pick a minor or a major. If you pick a major, you have to assign titles to it. If you pick a minor, it's like main event. So there probably won't be a, a title or anything there. So anyway, let's go to make a show. So you, you name it. You pick the participants. You pick the arena. This is where you can use your custom arena. So I used my uh, STW arena, which is really cool. And then if you've watched my other videos, you know what all this stuff is. You pick a filter. I'm still mad they haven't brought back the uh, cell shaded filter. That was awesome. Really, I'd, I would use that exclusively if they uh, added it back. I don't know why they took it out. <clears throat> you can pick your logo. So if you have a YouTube channel like I do, you can import your image. And you can use your own custom image. It can even use it as a watermark so that it's always on there like, like the real show. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you can end up doing that, pick all that stuff, get your show going. I'm not going to save this because you didn't really do anything. And then you can add all your participants. You can assign your championships. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. And I apologize if I'm going all over the place. There are so many options in this mode. It's uh, it's kind of hard to just pick one thing at each time. All right. So, editing a show. All right, I lost my train of thought there. But let's just go through these, and I'll show you what they all do. Match table. So let's say you want to make up your own match types, right? You don't want it to be default. You can go through here. Versus style is basically two out of three falls. That's That's the whole premise of my show. Every match, whether it be a tag, singles, fatal four-way, whatever, it's best two out of three falls. And I call it versus rules because in a fighting game, it's typically best two out of three falls, right? Unless you're online and then it's best three out of five, which is way too many for an online thing. Anyway, so yeah, so you can adjust that. And then if you want a certain match type to show up more, you can, uh, oh, and unlimited too. So let's say you want the entire card to just be singles matches it could be unlimited or you can assign it to where only three of the matches could be that only one of them could be that that way it makes them more special and then you change the percentage of how they show up that way if you don't want to sit there and go through every single show and edit every single thing you don't have to it'll just do it for you automatically so, anyway, so i replace those with my versus stuff and then you can assign championships do an empty one here just to show you pick any title you want if you want to use your created titles which i already used both of them so they're not showing up here and then you can assign a champion or you can you can assign it and then remove them and then have like a tournament for it but you'll have to set that up because once you do this if you just assign a champion it won't count as winning it So let's see. Oops. Uh, status. See, it didn't count him as earning it, but he's held it for three days. So there's that. Man, this is going to suck. I, they were both over a thousand days in the last game. Oh, I was champion. Oh. Man, that's the worst thing about your stuff not carrying over is it's like all the stats and all the stuff you make, like remaking everything every year, is it's just. Ugh, it's exhausting. But yeah. So that's how you do that. Go back in here and show you. So that's match table. We covered edit championships. Edit divisions. I believe we covered that. If you want a certain superstar to be the top of your show, you can just do this and edit where you want them. You hit the triangle button. Let's say you want... My to be the top star. There you go. Now they switched. Simple as that. And they get a little boost from that too. So they get an extra uh, plus two to attributes. 
So that's how that all works. Show details. I think we went over everything. Match table. I don't know why I saved, but whatever. And then, uh, and then to start rivalries on each show, you can come. Oh, and, you, and what really sucks is you have to create the tag teams again in u your universe mode, right? So all that tag team stuff you do in exhibition or in the main menu area does not transfer over to this, which really sucks. So you have to sit in here. See, so my my mixed tag teams aren't in here. So you have, you have to go in and make your own tag teams, do all that work over again, entrances and all that stuff. So I, I recommend writing it all down or taking pictures so you can just boom, 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 get it right back up. But that's how you make tag teams. And then rivalries, you just go over here. And I have them all set up already. So let's pick, oh, here we go. Start with this. You can pick the intensity. They got rid of the length. So I don't know... I haven't played it enough to figure out how long they last. Maybe it fizzles out if the momentum thing dies or something. I still haven't figured all that part out yet. Um, rivalry type, you could do tag team rivalry, one-on-one. -on -one. You can make the intensity, whatever you want. Then you can choose your rivals. So you can do Andre versus Omos on here. Let's see, what would be a good matchup type? Andre versus Brock Lesnar. That'd be cool to see. And see, Andre's way too low. I, I'd make him like a 90-something. So anyway, there's there's a few that's going to start. And you can't really manage the momentum thing yet. You have to, I think you have to do that week to week. And then once the rivalry naturally ends, you can come back here and look at it all. Or you can... If you don't want that rivalry anymore, or if you want to switch things up, go to one here. You just hit square to delete it, and it'll go away. And then you can change it out how you want. See, I got Cody going for that belt. And then he can't be, and they can't be on dual feuds at the same time. They can only be on one feud on one show at a time. So keep that in mind. So anyway, these are just some tips for this mode. Uh, you can come here and look at the championships. You can come in here and edit the superstars. I believe you. Oh yeah, that's that's another thing we we're gonna check. We'll see if Dana Brooks. Yeah, okay, good. It, it kept her her uh, stat increase I gave her. But yeah, if you just want to edit their stats in this mode, it looks like. No, oh, okay, no, you have to do it the other mode. But it also has the stat tracking here, which isn't that great, unfortunately. But anyway, as always. Thanks for watching. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below, or if it was hard to follow, uh, let me know, and I'll try to make a better one. <laughs> anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and stay frosty.